Let's say in your course you have created several gradebook items. In this video, we're going to show you how to reveal and edit these gradebook items. There are different ways. One of the ways is you could find the specific activity that connects to that gradebook item, edit this activity, and from here, select gradebook item, you see the edit link. Click on it will open up the edit gradebook item form. And from here, you may change the point value, due date, late submission settings, or even the rubric table. And once done, remember to click add item to save your changes and then save activity. This is the first approach from the connected activity. The other approach is from the course manual on the left and directly go to gradebook. Here, this gradebook table has all of the gradebook items in this course. You can find an assignment that you would like to make changes. Click on the gear icon in the title cell and click edit item. The same edit gradebook item table will show up and you can make changes from here. Let's see what other options are there from the settings gear. Mute an item will keep this gradebook item on student gradebook. However, student will not see the score they received on this item until you unmute the item. Added missing grade could become handy after you grade the assignment where at the end of the course, you would like to give students a score for their missing submissions. So let's say student who have missed this assignment will get a zero. You can do this and it will apply zero point to all of the students who have missed this assignment. Message students. This is also a handy feature. After you grade assignment, let's say you want to send out message to student who have not submitted this assignment where their score is lower than certain threshold. So for example, student whose score is lower than 10 points, then you may send them a make a resubmission message and you can write out your instructions in the message. So this will give you a quick way to send customized messages to specific groups. You could also hide this item. Hide item will completely remove this gradebook item from student gradebook. So this case is more like any of the pretest, for example. You could also delete this gradebook item. The other way to reveal and edit gradebook items is from this blue button, manage assignments and the categories. I use this place to look through gradebook items all together. So for example, before you open up your course to students, you may want to come here, do a overall review of all of the assignments. You want to make sure the assignment titles are correct, you have the right point values and the due dates for these assignments. And if any of the items you need to make changes, you could click on the gear icon and edit. This is the same edit gradebook item form. The other thing you want to pay attention is this link indicate there is a connected activity on the learning path. If any of these missing this icon means this gradebook item has not connected to a activity. Is this intentional? If this is intentional, like this one, there is no submission for this, right? That's okay. But if this is a mistake, then you would like to go back to the course path and build the link to that corresponding gradebook item from an activity. And going back to this list, you could also delete a gradebook item or hide it from student from this interface, move these items around. In my case, let's say I want to move these two proof of learning showcases to the end. You just drag and drop or using the arrows. 
The other feature that some teachers may leverage is manage categories. Categories will allow you to create assignment groups or buckets to put corresponding assignment into each category. Here, let's say I'm going to create three categories. I'm going to create one for discussions and one for one for tests and one for papers and projects. Once you have these, you can see the categories are created. You could enable category weight if you are going to give different weight to these categories. Let's say discussions will take 30%, test will count 50%, and papers and projects 20. And once you have the total equals to 100, you can proceed with save. And now you can see these categories, these buckets, have been created. And all you need to do is you drag corresponding items into the categories. This is a discussion, this is a paper assignment, and these e-portfolio activities as projects. You have to have all of the items into categories to be able to move on. This is how to reveal and manage gradebook items.